Hey guys, it's Andrea from VW Family Farm and I'm coming at you today with another recipe. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so if you watched our last video, I showed you a little teaser that I was pasteurizing goat's milk and I kind of told you why. I'm going to give you my goat's milk lotion recipe. So I'm letting it out of the bag. So let's jump right into it and I'll try to get, run through the recipe real quick in case you want to write it down. Uh, there's several ingredients but there's nothing hard about this. So I'm going to slowly run through what you're going to need. First off you're going to need a kitchen scale uh, because I do this by weight. I don't do this by volume. You're also going to need a blender. You're going to have to blend at the very end to get it to all emulsify into lotion. You're going to need several bowls to hold your ingredients. And, um, <clears throat> They don't have to be very big, but you're going to need several bowls and you're going to need a spoon. Okay, the ingredients are the first things you're going to need are 3.4 ounces sweet almond oil. You're going to need 2 ounces of avocado oil. Um, you need 2.4 ounces of emulsifying wax. And let me stop right here and say, I ran out of emulsifying wax one time, tried to use beeswax, and had a major disaster. So. I just made a big runny batch of milk that never would emulsify and I had to try to dump it all out and salvage the bottles that I had bought. So you might could get beeswax to work. I will probably never try that again. So I will invest and get the emulsifying wax. Okay, so that's very important. Two ounces of stearic acid. Okay, um, I buy a lot of these supplies from Brambleberry. It's a soap making company and that's just where I prefer to buy things. Um, okay, so also you're going to need a preservative of some kind. I use what's called Optifin. It's a more natural preservative, but you do need some sort of preservative when you're making lotion, unless you're making something that you're going to use in a very, very short time because this has milk in it. So you have to have something to preserve that or you're going to have a rotten mess that you don't want to rub on your skin. Okay. Uh, also, let's see. You need 2.4 ounces of shea butter. Okay. You need, and that the last two ingredients are you need 18 ounces of distilled water and 18 ounces of goat's milk. Okay. And the reason for the water being distilled is because again, we're trying to preserve this for a long period of time. If you buy a bottle of lotion, I doubt that you use it like in a week. I don't. So, you don't want to take a chance on just using tap water and having something be in it that's going to start trying to break down your product. So that's the reason for distilled water. And then if you want to put a fragrance or essential oil, it suggests, the recipe I have suggests 0.2 ounces. So you can just take that from there. If that's not strong enough for you, do more. If that's too strong, do less. So that's all the ingredients. Almond oil, avocado oil, your preservative, your wax, your acid, shea butter, water, milk, and fragrance. Okay, so let's jump right in here. Okay, I've already measured out 3.4 ounces of sweet almond oil and I've measured out two ounces of avocado oil. Okay, and then I took my stearic acid and my emulsifying wax and I put those in here. Okay, and then I microwaved that. I've already done that for time's sake. I microwaved that for two minutes. So this is warm. It was kind of all, the wax comes in little beads. I was going to show you kind of what they look like. This is the wax. It's just in little bead form and as you heat it up those will melt okay the stearic acid is in more of a flake form i'm not going to pick it up but it's just more of a powdery flaky okay that's all in here together along with the almond and avocado oil so i'm gonna stick these off to the side okay another important step on lotion making this is my shea butter you may be thinking well why didn't you microwave that and melt that um, at the same time as the other oils well the thing about shea butter is is if you get it too hot your final product is going to be very grainy. So what you want to do is get this hot, this avocado and almond oil, along with the stearic acid and the wax, so that those will blend and meld together. And then after you've heated those, you want to add this in because it will melt a lot more gently and slowly. So we're just going to put our shea butter down in there and we're not going to microwave anymore because it will, I've had that happen also. If the shea butter gets too hot, it will be very grainy and it doesn't feel very good on your skin. Okay? So, while that is just sitting there melting, and you might want to give it a stir every few minutes, you're just going to kind of leave that alone for a minute. You're going to mix the water and milk together. So, 
Like I told you, it's 18 ounces of both, equal parts water and milk. So, I'm just going to mix those together, and you're going to microwave this for one minute. Now, I don't microwave much, but I do use it on this recipe because when I'm making soap and lotion, I make a lot at a time. I milk goats heavily at one time, and then I'll make soap and lotion heavily at one time. So, you could use a slower method. That's totally up to you. If you want to use like a double boiler, I guess it's a compromise I'm willing to make that during this time I use the microwave. So, and I also use my dishwasher. I told you that on the soap making because a lot of these things need to be sanitized. Uh, you could wash them all in bleached water if you want to, but if you don't get them sanitary, your lotion might spoil. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's just you need to make sure everything's clean and sanitary. Okay, so after those, microwave for one minute or just really until they're warm. That's all you're trying to do. You're going to, first off, you've got to get this shea butter melted. You don't want to go to the next step until that is done. So I microwaved the milk and the water together for a minute. The shea butter has gone ahead and melted. Now you're going to take these oils. Your water and milk is going to be in a pretty good size bowl. And you're going to add these in slowly. You are going to see that wax go ahead and turn back to, it, it's going to look chunky. I don't know how else to say it. It's, it's kind of all still just in its own pieces. There's chunks of wax now. Whereas this was all melted and mixed together, it's kind of went back to just pieces of wax and, and chunks and stuff. That's okay. That's what it's supposed to be at this point. Okay. So now here's where you're going to have to have a blender. Okay. You're going to take some, you're not going to, you aren't going to fit it all in your blender and you wouldn't want to because it's going to kind of rise up and you're going to make a big mess if you put too much. But you're going to put, this is a couple cups. And let me also say at this point, a disclaimer, this can get a little messy. I had to become, I used to be someone who just wanted my kitchen to stay clean all the time. When the kids would get out dishes and stuff, I'd get aggravated, but I've come a long way and I've decided the kitchen is made to be making stuff in, make memories, cook good food, make things like this. So um, a lot of times I'll have Emily in here helping me, and but this process does get a little messy. So you're probably going to have to wipe down your counters afterwards, but that's okay. That's what it's for, right? So you're going to put that, I might just put a little bit more, okay? And this is going to do <clears throat> the emulsifying process. Now I'm not going to show you every round. I'm probably going to have to do like two or three rounds of this to get all this run through, but I, this is going to be loud, but I am going to show you the first one because I think it's important and you need to know kind of what you're looking for. So my blender has a pulse button, if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so I'm just going to pulse a few times. I'm not going to turn it on and just let it run because if this gets way too thick, you're never going to get it in the bottle. So it pours in the bottles a lot easier Think about the consistency of your lotion you pump out of the um, pumper. It's not like thick as glue, and it's not watery either. So kind of go for that consistency. Okay, so I'm going to pulse a few times. Then I'll let it kind of settle back down. But I don't usually just turn it on and let it run on high for a minute or anything like that. That'd be overdoing it. Okay, and if you kind of look in here, mine is, it's blended together, but it's still very, very runny. It's, it's as thin as water. You want it thicker than that. Okay, so let me take a look. Okay, so that batch is done. It's emulsified. Um, I don't know if you can see this. You might not can, but it went from like water to now it's got some bubbles on the top. It looks like a pudding that's kind of starting to set that where you'd stop mixing pudding and put it in the fridge that's kind of what it looks like and I'm, i want you to watch me pour it kind of how thin it still is and this i might have got this a little bit too thick but i don't know if you can see that very well it poured really easy but it's also got a a little bit of a thickness to it okay so i'm gonna pause right there okay guys so i got it all ran through it looks nice it's got some bubbles on top but it's still very pourable which is what you want. The last step, do not forget this step. This is my preservative. I've measured it out. It is 0.4 ounces, not four ounces, 0.4. Okay. So I'm going to drizzle that over the top and then you need to mix that in good. Okay. 
So let me grab a spoon. Need to mix that in because that's going to help your lotion last, especially if you're selling this. Or like I'm, I make batches and I use them for a while. And this one, you can look it up. It's called Optifin. It was one that I, I'm into more natural and um, chemical-free things. And this was one I was way more comfortable with than, than some of them you can buy. And especially things you buy in lotions already made. Okay, and this is my fragrance. This is Black Raspberry Vanilla. Um, and you need 0.2 ounces of fragrance or essential oil. Um, so, like I said, do that according to your preference. If you think it needs to be stronger, go a little stronger. If it's too strong, go a little weaker. This seems to be just right for people that have used my lotions. They, they seem to think it smells good. So, Okay, so all I'm doing is stirring that in. Okay, final step. Let me grab my funnel. Okay, these are the bottles I buy. They're eight ounces. I know you can buy four ounce bottles and two ounce bottles as well. These are just the ones I prefer to buy. Okay, so you are going to take a scoop. That's too much. You're gonna have to have a funnel. I don't know how you do it without one. And like I said, this is where if you went too thick, you're gonna have a little more work on your hands getting in these bottles. So keep that in mind when you're pulsing. I went way too thick the first time I made it and I learned my lesson, okay? That's all there is to it. These bottles come with lids. I wanna show you one. Okay, sorry, took me a minute to find one. But they come with these flip top lids. They're perfect for the lotion. And also, when I've bought them in the past, I don't know if they do this every time at Brambleberry, but they'll come with a label template that you can print your labels and you can put your logo, your farm name, whatever you want on it. So I usually put some sort of label on this before I sell any. And mainly I just make this for friends, family, Christmas gifts. People love getting a homemade product, especially if it's something like this that it smells good and it's just, it's fun to use. So I hope you'll give it a try. I hope that you, I was clear enough that you learned how to do it. And um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment, give us a like, and we will see you on the next video. And be sure, get in on our, our 1,000 subscriber challenge. We've got a cool prize we're going to give away when we hit 1,000. And so just get in on that and get your name entered. As many people as you send our way, that enters you each time that they say you sent them. And we will see you on the next video. God bless.